That lock needs a gust of hell's wind to open it. Yeah. Shh. It ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he'd make those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Trap with your <laughs> See that? Hell, you can absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome, and I'm leaving. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeons. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence then.
Pimple flap for me when he's better. You shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. 
It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. Hey, so you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know what you do. So, I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Hope that snot goblin of yours is on the mend soon. But you'll make it. Just go, brother. Well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple. But nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I 
see that? Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured... Sorry. Guess we're going. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a servant earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? I think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. 
that is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? Yeah, you do not need to know. <gasps> Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing? This? I will show you. Let's try this again, <gasps> without interruptions. 